What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy Kid back at it again. Hope you're doing well. Today's suggestion comes from Beverly and um, and Sladger. Uh, shout out to you both. Um, you we all enjoyed, or well, at least I I know I enjoyed uh, checking out Matt Berry with the Lone Wolf. If you haven't seen it, we'll link it uh, above. But um, yeah, we enjoyed that bit. And Beverly and Sladger had suggested that we check out another one with uh, featuring my boy Matt Berry. Uh, we were definitely enjoying these kind of documentaries. Uh, it just it was funny with Matt Berry. So we're gonna be checking out. Uh, a loved one um so we're gonna be switching screens in a second uh don't forget to like comment subscribe absolutely free to do helps out the channel tremendously let's get this journey started let's get it snacks not included let's freaking go we got wild love matt berry's wild love animals are all around us extraordinary inspirational craftily adapted or cradapted to their environment and designed for survival. It is the instinct to procreate that most powerfully motivates or motivates their existence. To attract partners for sex, many have developed <laughs> elaborate courtship rituals or courtuals. <laughs> Wild love. The human animal uses many varied tools to attract a sex partner. Crispy mint thins, <laughs> tiny pottery gifts, and promises of housing. Birds, however, love to dance. That's cool. Look at this fucking move. <laughs> the more extravagant the bloke's dance, the more likely he will be noticed. This blue-mouthed bird is the forest pigeon, or ghost. And let's face it, she's not all that. But this grinning <laughs> fool is desperate. And most birds would be appalled by this display. Yet this slack prick doesn't know up from down. And is bamboozled. She's lost interest. And she's off. Unlike pigeons, these colonial hopping dogs are a dowdy <laughs> sullen crowd who don't go in for displays or rituals. Last season's junior bouncers are fast approaching Independence Day, which means their mothers will be getting ready to do that their fuck. <laughs> like all males, they use their sense of smell to find out if a female is sexually available or on. He will court her for several days sniffing around her threepenny bit and associated doings. <laughs> <clears throat> Having found one that seems game, he stays close to her side to ensure that no other hopping dog tries to cop off with her. The most dominant male will be the one to father the next generation of the herd, and that is something well worth fighting for. Okay, sailor, you fancy some? I'm in fifth gear. Don't <laughs> mind if I do. All right, let's go. <laughs> Whoa! Who the fuck are you, you cunt? <laughs> You can sling your hook. Fuck me! Unbelievable! <laughs> this trio of ginger-hatted pigeons are trying to impress this cheap piece of fluff. She's going to get a close-up performance from the actual dancing perch. <laughs> and if she's sufficiently impressed, she will have fuck with the geezer with the best moves. The winner dismisses his rivals with a special victory pirouette and she prepares to get down to the business of dirt. What the fuck is that? Whoa! That is a ground pigeon at mid to high arousal. Hello there! <laughs> I beg your pardon. I'm just saying hi! And again, the female has lost interest and is off. Oh. <laughs> this fool is the carpet pigeon. His hanging chest rug mesmerizes his target and indicates to her that he is quite literally gagging for his grip. What? <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Look at him go! <laughs> oh, shit. 
In Costa Rica lives one of the natural world's biggest glamour boys, oh. the branch pigeon. They are born showmen, designed to razzle and dazzle, with each trying to outshine the other. With their brilliant plumage, fancy footwork, and noisy anal clackers. Smooth. When really worked up, they reveal their eye-catching trouser. Although driven by sex, this is also a display of aggression. Warning rival males, keep your fucking distance. <laughs> distance. Distance. <laughs> This is a rare golden frog. It has a voice, but it's not very loud, so it struggles to be heard in the noisy jungle. <laughs> Good places to meet the brasses are rare, so they may have to be defended against rivals. Here comes one now. In case his warning call is inaudible, he makes his message clear with a wave. All right, sailor. All right, mate. I'm Colin Dent. House tricks. All right, can't complain. You seen any decent skirt round here? <laughs> Oi, you piece of shit, Dent! You fucking con man! Another fella arrives. Hey, mate. Sorry about Dent here. He's been on the sauce all day. I don't want any trouble. All right, then. Come and have a chat. Oh, for fuck's sake, another one! Stay down! Stay down, you fucking wanker! You want some more? Yeah, well, fuck you! Right, I'm off. And don't even think about following me. <laughs> this time, the visitor is a female, and they get straight down to business. But before you know it, that wanker Colin Dent is back, and it's a golden threesome with no holds bad. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think you'll agree, that's wild love. Wow. Three-way boys, Swingers Association, Matt Berry, Slated, uh, the frog one was the dopest, one of the dopest, and the kangaroo... Well, by a long shot, that kangaroo one. What the fuck are you coming from here? Hold on a second. We got to talk about it. Thank you so much. This was so damn good. Wow. Uh, Matt Berry. Ah, man, what a voice. Soothing, funny, uh, and just damn right enjoyable at the same time. There's many words to describe it, but, man, those are a couple that we're feeling at the moment. One second. Thank you so much. Way, way, way too many good bits here. Uh, Denty's been on the sauce all day. <laughs> Oh my god. Um the housing bit too about you know uh the way he um over enunciates shacks. Uh no holds bar bar <laughs> I can't replicate it. The man is a genius uh with the wordplay. Um, you know, Everything that he does is just extra good, man. Only thing missing is uh, Clem Fandango here. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Damn it, you bastard, man. Oh, my God. This is great. The kangaroos, the hopping dogs were fantastic. Uh, then it, it became a quickly a three-way there at the bay. Who the fuck is this guy here coming out of nowhere? The frogs were great. Uh, ended up having a three-way of their own there as well. Um, but I couldn't believe the hopping dogs bit. Uh, absolutely spectacular. Spectacular. These are some good. Tell me, please, someone out there, tell me we got more of him doing some documentaries. We got to check it. It's good fun, good laughter. Uh, if you could describe in a couple words Matt Berry's voice, uh, do it in the comments down below. We said a couple um, as we were watching at the end there. But, man, he just, he just has a way with words that uh, it, it makes me stand attention. Uh, it makes me want to listen. Uh, you know, again, when he's that no the bar thing, man, just cracks me up the way he announces things. It definitely it reminds me a little bit of Tulsa London a little bit. And, and the way he just speaks, man, I just got to come in. I got to sit down, pay attention uh, and just kick it with Matt Berry. He just doesn't disappoint. There really isn't anything bad that we have seen in him. Uh, none that I can think of at this moment in time. But, yeah, I didn't know about these documentaries until Kaza suggested uh about a week ago or so um 
to do the lone wolf, which we did. Uh, we can link that for you guys if you happen to have not seen it. I'll, I'll probably link it above. But uh, shout out to Beverly and, and Sladger. I do apologize if we get the, the name wrong. Um, but you know, thank you to you both who have suggested this. This provided joy. Uh, this was a banger episode and, and is talking about something that we all enjoy in life. Sharks, uh, essentially. And, and uh, it, you know, it was very interesting seeing the ways um, that we court. Uh, you, know, you court your fellow opposite sex, uh, your lady. And, uh, yeah, that house of it was funny. But um, seeing the animals, especially the birds, too, he was doing like, I don't know, it felt like some smooth criminal shit, man. He kept going. He was smooth with it on that tree. Uh, and just seeing the many ways that uh, animals will have to stand out from the crowd and shit. It's no different uh, than, you know, guys is trying to stand out. You got to impress the lady somehow. So uh, we might not do those type of moves like that. Uh, but yeah, this was so damn interesting. So damn fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below. Forever a new fan uh, of Matt Berry uh, since we've seen him on IT Crowd and, and, and Toast of London. And now we've seen a little bit of documentary bits with him. And yeah, it's just so damn good. So thank you so much of those who have suggested keep on suggesting if he has any more documentary stuff um you know uh point me in the right direction as uh, beverly and slager did today so thank you so much we'll see you soon don't forget to like comment subscribe absolutely free to do helps out the channel tremendously and shout out to the patrons as well thank you so much for your support we'll see you soon be well take care and uh, all the best peace